Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. What's up, everybody? HTG Doug here, continuing our LEGO Star Wars 3 The Clone Wars videos. This time, we're doing the Trophy Achievement Cheat, which is for finding all of the red bricks. And this can be done anywhere in the hub world, but actually, we are going to do like the Trophy Achievement says and actually cheat. So, here are all the codes for all the red bricks. So, you can basically, like I said, just hit start, go to extras, enter secret code, and if you punch all of these in, the trophy will pop for you or achievement. Uh, very, very simple. It's basically just following the the codes and just punching them in. Uh, once you get used to the controls and where the letters are and everything, it's very, very simple. I will say this does not disable the trophies or achievements. As you can see, I just unlocked the first one. I'm basically going down the left side and then going around down the right side. So you guys can follow along you want or you can just pause the video and you can just punch them all in. It's up to you guys. But this does not disable trophies or achievements. Uh, you can do this at any time. You could do this as soon as you gain access to the hub world if you really wanted to. It's completely up to you guys. The only thing I will say is if you turn on the invincibility red brick, you cannot get the trophy the forces with you. So if you want that trophy, make sure when you're playing through one of the levels, make sure you turn that off. That way you can get it. The regenerate hearts cheat is fine for that trophy, but the invincibility is not. So make sure if you want the forces with you trophy achievement, make sure you turn off the invincibility cheat until you have it, and then you can turn it back on. All right, now that we got that out of the way, like I said, this does not disable any trophies or achievements, and it'll save you a lot of time, a lot of studs, because, I mean, all of this together is probably like, some of the, the, the times 10 multiplier brick is probably like 20 million studs, which can take a really, really long time to get. And then the times six is another 10, and the times eight is like 15. So you have to get gather a lot of studs, and this will save you a lot of time, a lot of studs, and allow you to get through the game the faster. So it's up to you guys if you want to use the codes. You can find them legitimately if you like to, but to be honest with you guys, the Lego movie is coming out soon, and we want to make sure we have this series done, or at least as far done as possible before that comes out so we can focus all our time on that and otherwise I would be showing you the actual red brick locations I'm not gonna lie to you guys it's just a time factor that's why I'm not showing them to you but if you guys really really want the actual locations if I have the time I will whip up a video for you showing you them but it, there's really there's absolutely no reason to have them because you have the codes literally laid out right in front of you all you have to do is hit start and punch them in and follow it so, uh, yeah, it, but I said it's up to you guys. You guys could do what you like, but I figured I would just get that out of the way and just explain it to you that it's just a time factor and it's not that, you know, or whatever. But, yeah, so uh, you might notice that I'm, I, I skipped, I'm going to be skipping three of these on the list because I already have the times two, times four, and stud magnet uh, red bricks unlocked. So as, if you're trying to follow along to make sure they work, it's I, I skipped those on purpose because I already have them unlocked and I did use the codes for the times two and the stud magnet the only one I found and bought legitimately was the times four so that is the only code that I cannot confirm myself personally but it, I'm, I promise you it works the only way it doesn't work is if I typed it wrong and I went through and checked like twice to make sure all these codes are right so I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure they're right and considering I used all these codes myself to unlock them then yeah they're right so yeah, hopefully you guys aren't upset about the using of the codes. I don't really see why you would. I mean, the name of the trophy achievement is called cheat. So it's not really cheating if the game's telling you to cheat. I, I don't know. This just my personal opinion on it. But I said it's up to you guys if you want to get them legitimately or if you want to just use the codes. But I, me personally, I don't mind using the codes. Like I played through all of story only using the times two instead of magnet, which I'd say is pretty good. I wouldn't necessarily recommend just as soon as you start the game, punching in all the codes and using them throughout the whole game, because it kind of takes away from the experience. But, I mean, if you've played through all of story, or all of story mode, I don't really see a reason to play through free play legitimately. You might as well turn on all the codes and have fun, because free play is about having fun. You get to use any characters you want. You get to get all the mini kits and all that stuff. So, my personal opinion is that play through story mode, not turning on all the cheats, or, you know, use, use the multiplier bricks, because you want them, because you want to get the studs, but... Uh, you know, no, don't don't play through with like auto perfect deflect where you don't you like never die. Don't play through invincibility because it's not it takes away some of the fun. But once you get to free play, I don't really see any reason whatsoever that you shouldn't have these on because 
Otherwise, you're just making more time for yourself. Unless you really, really love this game and you just want to play through it forever. But, I said it's completely up to you guys. But, uh, this is right before I start free play. I, I, as soon as we're done with this, this codes right here, I will be starting free play. So, you'll get to see me use all these amazing super red bricks. And then, we can have a lot of fun in free play. And we can just breeze through that. And I Because, you know, free play is about getting the mini kits and getting true Jedi on any levels you may have missed. So, we're going to have a ton of fun just being invincible, just standing there and being like, what? Can't kill me. What up, son? Can't kill me? So, yeah. Now that that's done. <laughs> All right. Where are we? Uh, yeah, and I, I, t I tried to save some space. I didn't want, like, just a wall of text across the entire screen. So, I didn't put the whole word or name of the the um, the uh, the red brick. But I put the first, like, letter of each word. So, you guys should be able to figure it out. Like, PD is perfect deflect. Uh, DS is, I honestly don't know what DS is, oh god, I was like, oh yeah, oh, dark side, that's it, so yeah, dark side is that one, FB is fast build, IN is invincibility, MD is mini kit detector, I'm not even looking at, looking at the list, like, the, my notes, whatever, and I can tell you what all these are, so, it, it, it's pretty simple to figure out, I mean, uh, yeah, SS is super speeders, times 2 times 4 through times 10 is multiplier bricks, SM, Stud Magnet, RH, Regenerate Hearts. CS is, uh, uh, Character Studs. SSC is Super Saber Cut. DW is, that one I don't know. <laughs> GID is Glow in the Dark. RBD is Red Brick Detector. And I don't know what, let's see my notes. What's DW? Dual Wield. Ah, how can I miss Dual Wield? Who doesn't want Dual Wield? Come on. Oh, Dual Wield is one of the best things in this game. But all right, we're at Red Big Detector. All right, so we are done. It's perfect timing on my part. And as you see, Cheat Trophy is unlocked. So this does not disable trophies or achievements. If you ask me that, I will slap you guys through the YouTube comments. <laughs> all right. So I already said which Red Brick disables the one trophy achievement in the game. So please don't ask. Just watch the video. I'll explain everything you need to know. But hopefully you guys like this. I said, if, if you guys want the actual locations, I will do the video for the actual locations if I have the time. Probably won't because I'm going to be rushing through free play to get those done so you guys can have all the mini kit locations everything like that. But I said, if, if you really, really want them, I will do them if I have time. If not, I'll probably wait till after Lego the movie comes out and then I'll do it then. But I said, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, hopefully you guys like the codes. That way you can just punch them in and save you guys a bunch of time and studs. But anyway, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and as always, make sure you follow us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, like and subscribe to us on YouTube, and check us out on Google+, Plus as well, and check out our new website, happygamesgaming.com, and I'll see you guys soon.